Before we get started, let's put some gloves and a bottle on our hands for studio safety. Hi, I'm Mike Rooney. Today's free art lesson is going to be on how to lighten a color without adding white. I want you to think of it this way. If you take color, take pure pigment, and you add white, every time you do that, I want you to think that you're dumping chalk dust in on top of that color. So imagine you've got red, got this beautiful red, and you take white chalk dust and just throw in all this white chalk dust on top of that red. Just think of how it would kill the color. Well, that's exactly what titanium white is. It's ground up pigments. It, it might as well be chalk dust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take, take a, a, let's say an apple. We'll work on an apple. We'll draw two apples side by side and I'll show you how to lighten it and, and warm it without adding white and you'll have much more colorful paintings. So let's go over to the easel and I'll show you how to do that. All right, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw out a couple apples. And for some reason, I always like to use magenta when I'm painting. Let's, let's not make them too big. Let's make them about like so. All right, and then there's a little shadow side of the apple there. This is in the shadow. Now, I've got another lesson on how to do the shadows without adding its complement and killing the color. So be sure you check that one out too. How to keep paintings bright. You don't want to make the shadows real dull and you don't want to make the, the lights real pasty. So you'll have nice colorful paintings, whether they're plein air paintings like I do or whether they're still lifes in the studio or whether you're painting from photos or whatever you're painting. You don't want pasty, pasty looking lights, okay? So let's see how it looks. Let's compare it side by side and see how it looks when we do it both ways. So basically I'm just drawing an apple and I'm drawing the shadow and then here's going to be the tabletop. Alright. Now let's use, let's go ahead and just do the red. Um, I don't use, I use a, a cadmium red and if I want it darker I just add a little bit of blue. If I want to darken it down. Instead of adding green I just add blue to that uh, mixture to that red mixture and bring it down to where I want it okay if it looks like it's a little bit too warm I just keep adding blue until I cool it down now I've got that just about like I want it and I'll add just a little bit of magenta just to kind of throw in a little bit of, of uh, a warm cool in there okay I mean a warm cool a dull cool color because I don't want that apple really shine, you know, shining too much on the shadow because I'm trying to show you how to make this really pop. So I want to make a dull color here. Now if I want to make a real pasty, not pasty, but if I want to make a less intense warm light, I can have nice bright vivid shadows. You don't want to have them competing with each other. You don't want real vivid bright uh, shadows and, and the same amount of vividness in the light sides. So I'm dulled this down just a tad. Now we were we're going to we're going to add uh, red on this side of the apple, and watch what happens when I put white in it. Let's say that this is the this light side of the apple. Okay, I'm not trying to make a great painting, so I'm just scribbling it in there and just trying to show you how what happens. Watch what happens now. I want to make this realistic, so I'm going to take that dull and put that on this side of the apple because that's that little part of it that's uh, in shadow. Okay, so there's my red. And if you've been doing it like me, I mean, for years and years before I learned this, uh, we were always told that when you want to lighten something, you just add white to it and uh, that will lighten it up. Only problem is, like I said, it, it, it acts like chalk dust. And we don't want any chalk dust added to the painting. So let's take some white and, and let's say we want to lighten it. This is exactly what we would have done in the past. Take white 
and stroke white on red and we would have lightened up the apple with white and we'd have thought wow that, that looks kind of like a kind of like an apple right there then we would have what we would we would have took a little bit of white right there and we would have made a little highlight right there for the apple wouldn't we we'd say wow okay there's our apple you know this is not quite red enough I don't think we would have <laughs> we would have done that it wouldn't have been quite that dull so I'm gonna go back in there and tweak that just to, there we go now you know prior to this lesson that's maybe how you would have painted that apple but watch when I do it the other way watch when I paint it the way that we need to paint it and then we will say that we got a blue uh, tabletop here. I'm not going to paint the whole thing just for time's sake. Let's just paint it in to give us some reference that that's a tabletop all the way across. And there we go. And then we would have done the shadow, probably blue, and made a little shadow for the apple, like so. Okay, there's our apple finished the old style way, the old way. Now we're going to do it a different way. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to give you the trick on this, is I'm going to go ahead and paint this in red. If I'm going to cheat and let you, let you have another little mini lesson is don't take green and add green to that take something that's got blue in it just stay away from green completely anything that you got that doesn't have green in it you'll be okay all right so I just basically put magenta in it and and darkened it and dropped it down in value now but watch what happened well, look what I what I do to the apple instead of taking white and adding white to it Okay, I take the red, same way, scoop it up, put it on there. And this one, what you want to ask yourself, it's not a hard concept, is what do I need to do to this? Why does the apple look like it's in light when it's sitting on the table and there's a light on it? Because it's warmer and it's lighter. So you ask yourself, what can I do to, to warm this shape and make it warmer and lighter without adding white. Well, what is close to red on the, on the color wheel that's warmer and lighter? Orange. Orange is right beside it. So you pick up your orange and you add some orange to it right on top of that red. Look how I've lightened it a touch. What can I do now? What's, what's even warmer than, than orange is yellow. So I put yellow on top of it right here as it goes towards the light because this is the light side right here. I make it nice and orangey on this side of the apple. Okay, then I got to put my little indentation right back there. There we go. Then I can take, I never use, I, I see I haven't added any white hardly at all, but I'm going to need a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add red and just a touch of white. I mean, can you see this? I'm using just a touch of white to go in there and kind of make it red again. It was kind of losing its red flavor. So I'm going to go in and add white with a little bit of red and make sure that it doesn't look like an orange, but that it looks like an apple. It's a little bit redder now. Put a little bit of red in it to make sure it doesn't look like a like an orange. Because I do want to make sure that I don't get too crazy. Then I'll take pink. I'll take white and a little bit of red. And I'll make a highlight that's super, super warm. Because it's still got red and yellow. See, I'll take up a little bit of yellow. Make it nice and yellow and white and red and just make it kind of a creamy off-white and I'll make a highlight on the apple 
Then I go back one more time. This is the only place that you should ever use a lot of white and that's on the highlight. Watch what happens when I just take that and put a stroke right on top of the on top of that highlight. I just really dab on a nice strong uh, like nice strong highlight. Let's finish it up. Take this, put this on there. Let's lighten it a little bit towards the edge. And let's put purple in it towards the bottom and lighten up this blue just a little bit so there's a difference. Let's just pick some of this up and put it into there. Now it kind of goes out and gets lighter as it goes towards the edge. You gotta be sure you don't get it too light. See, I got it too light. I'll go back in and put a little light blue around it just to give you some context of how much lighter that is than that shadow. Now, here, you know, I'll just use a little bit of Naples yellow and warm it and lighten it. And look how I've kind of lightened that shadow around that light blue without adding white. It's a, it's a nicer, warmer, blue without adding white so I didn't paste it all up I didn't add a bunch of chalk dust to it I hope that this has really helped you I hope that you can get nice bright warm you know sun shapes on your on your objects without adding white and making them pasty like that first apple right there look at the difference between them I hope that's helped you a lot if you'd like to find out more about me you can look me up on the internet at mike rooneystudios.blogspot.com